What's up guys, and uh, so The Incredibles 2 is coming out in just a few days and I figured I might explain, you know, what, what to expect in the, in the new Pixar film that is coming out in about five days actually. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give a quick detail and uh, before I get started go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and uh, share if you want to, to help out the channel. And um, so after, after the intro, <laughs> spoiler alert, I warned you. Oh, and if you haven't seen The Incredibles, uh, uh, don't worry. If you if you haven't seen it, I'll give a quick summary of what happens at the end of the movie, and then. But if you want to go see it, then definitely go watch it, and then come back to my video because I need the support. Anyway. <coughs> So, the sequel film takes place not much longer after the first film. Actually, it takes probably, if I had to guess, probably about two weeks after. So, I'll, I'll do a quick recap of what happened at the end of the film, in case you haven't been obsessing over The Incredibles for the past month. <coughs> so, the Parr family is supposed to be a, a normal family, but they have a variety of superpowers that they have to keep secret. Why? Well, because... Superheroes are illegal. We want to fight bad guys! Well, at, at the end of the movie, um, the evil Syndrome, which is the villain in The Incredibles, in the first Incredibles, uh, he takes Jack-Jack, the Parr family's uh, baby, baby, uh, from the Parr family's house. They try to stop him, but, the Syn but Syndrome fl flies away using rocket boots to his private jet. And Jack-Jack uh, has secret powers that he uses and prevents Syndrome from getting to, the, getting to his jet. So, but then Syndrome gets sucked in to his jet turbine and pretty much dies, so, ouch. Then, basically, the plane falls on top of the Parr family's house and basically destroys it. So, they have nowhere to live, but a few weeks later, they don't, they don't specify in the first film where they go or if they move or something like that, but it doesn't, I'll explain. So, a few weeks later, that dashes track meet, and a boy Violet likes asks her out. After the track meet, a giant thing that can tunnel underground, I don't know what it is, honestly, I couldn't, it's like a turny thing, yeah. Um, so, but another villain called, named The Underminer, comes out of the ground, and he, that's where the film leaves off. The Par family suits up, and then, that's it. We don't know what happens, but... After watching many of the trailers and forming a kind of complete, sort of, kind of know what's going on, yeah, I, I don't really know exactly, but I have a pretty good guess on what's going to happen during the film. I have been obsessing over this film for a very long time now, a few months in fact, so I've been watching all the trailers. I watched the, all the English trailers. I watched the international trailer. It was in Japan, er, J Japanese. And I didn't even understand it, yet I watched it, but a lot of this stuff made sense. So, but, so, this is where the movie starts off. This is where the second movie starts off, and I have, I didn't go to Disneyland, but I saw the sneak peek. Somebody recorded it, and I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but I still saw it, and I can tell you right now that the, that the beginning of the movie does not begin off with the fight of the Underminer. No. It actually begins with my favorite character, Rick Dicker. Yes, that's right. Rick Dicker starts out The Incredibles 2. You want to know how? He's interviewing none other than Tony Reitinger. Yes, that's right. The boy that Violet likes is getting interviewed by Rick Dicker. Why? Well, as it turns out, Tony saw Violet taking off her mask from her super suit as she was, as her family were trying to fight the Underminer. So he's getting interviewed by Rick Dicker. Tony explains what happens. Basically, what happens is, well, he sees he's running away from the attack of the Underminer, and then he sees Violet take her mask off, and then he recognizes her, and he's all freaked out because she has superhero, she's the superhero, and he didn't know, and now he's just like, I don't know what to do, because I asked her out, and you know, all that. So, so basically what happens is that they, they defeat the Underminer, right? Frozen comes to help, and he stops the Underminer from attacking the, 
Municipal Berg City Hall of Fame. So then after that, Frozone basically gets away because the authorities are coming in. So we have to go because superheroes are illegal and he's not allowed to be there. So, but the Parr family, who is conveniently located inside of the Underminers thing, get caught. Yes, they get caught. All right, and they get held at gunpoint. But another thing to keep in mind is that Winston Deaver, Winston De I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I haven't seen the movie yet. I don't really know. But anyway, so he, he sees the super saving the city from the Underminer, right? He is amazed. So basically what happens is from what I've seen from the trailers, the place that they're living in, the Parr family, they aren't living in their old house. And it, it's obvious because when you think about it, they shouldn't be living in their old place because their house got destroyed, like I said earlier. If your house got destroyed, they don't have anywhere else to live. So they, if I had to guess, they were probably living into, in an apartment right now. Did you wash your hands? With soap? Did you dry them? What? Is this all vegetables? Who wanted all vegetables? I did. So, uh, as of right now, they, they are living in an apartment, but Winston Deaver and his sister Evelyn try to get the supers back. They have to, they, they really, they, they see the potential that the supers have and they try to get them back. So, he invites Frozone, Elastigirl, and Mr. Incredible, the main three. So, they go in and, you know, he gets interviewed and he says, Elastigirl is going to be our best play as he says in the trailers, right? And Elastigirl is our best play. Better than me? <clears throat> so after that, then uh, Mr. Incredible has to watch the kids because there's no one else to watch them. You, you don't have a choice. When your kids have superpowers, you, can, you, you can't just have a, a, any old random Joe watch the kids. You have to have people who are willing to, you know, you know, you gotta have either the mom or the dad watch it because they know and they're okay with it. You can't just watch any what, you can't let anyone else watch the kids because they'll find out that the kids have superpowers and they'll get all freaked out and they'll call the authorities and you know, all that. So, Mr. Incredible doesn't have a choice. He has to watch the kids. So, so he's watching the kids, but I guess, and then somewhere in the middle, there's gonna be some turmoil where he visits Edna and then she gets all mad because Elastigirl's super suit is by Galbaki. Explain yourself. And there's gonna be some tension there. I don't really know what that means. There wasn't any specifications, but yeah. So the yeah. So so far they beat the Underminer. Winston Deaver is you know in charge. He has taken Elastigirl and she's now fighting crime, right? It all, it all seems cool. He seems like the good guy. Just look at his face in the beginning, right? He's all, he's all happy and smiley and whatever. But you gotta keep in mind that his sister is the technical expert. She has a mastermind. She's, she's the mastermind behind the whole thing. Winston's just the friendly face, you know what I mean? Another thing that you gotta keep in mind is that since Evelyn is behind the thing, she's a technical genius. You gotta think, what kind of things could be accomplished with a suit that you're wearing all the time and you also have a technical genius? Oh, mm -hmm, I don't know. Hypnosis? Nah, that couldn't, that, that, that couldn't be possible. Why, why would they have hypnosis in a movie that's really good? Oh wait. No, just take a look at those trailers. Look at their eyes. Yeah, you see it? You see that? Yeah. Hmm? As we... Let's just take this into consideration. I don't know everything, but that's a pretty good guess that it's hypnosis. Look at their eyes. They're blue, or whatever the color there is. But... So Elastigirl is in danger of being hypnotized. She is in really big danger of being hypnotized, and she doesn't even know it. And so, Dad goes to rescue Mom. Suit up. It might get weird. I'll be there ASAP. Where you going ASAP? You better be back ASAP. Right? And he leaves Dash, Violet, and Jack-Jack all alone, right? 
in their apartment unless they move. I don't I don't really know who the elevator scene is supposed to be. That's kind of kind of confusing. I don't know when, but they leave them alone, right? And that's where Jack's uh, Dash says we need to help mom and dad. Put that on. So we gotta we gotta think. Well, why are they trying to drive the car? Why are they trying to save mom and dad? Because dad went to go help mom. It's up to us. Wait, who's gonna watch Jack? Jack? Suck it up. She must have been hypnotized, or something must have happened to Mrs. Incredible. We don't know until the movie comes out. But so they go to save the kids, right? But the hypnotized, the rest of the hypnotized supers, like Brick, that Voitex, the Void person, and that other old dude, they go to, they are hip, they're hypnotized, and they try to attack the kids, but they're good at fending each other off. They're being attacked, so they have to go back, and I bet at some point Elastigirl's trying to fend herself off from Screenslaver, which is the villain in this movie. Screenslaver is good at hypnotizing. Oh yes, yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Well, well, I did. I mean, like you can tell, like look at the little hypno hypnosis things that's going on, and if I know anything about hypnosis, I don't. So. What we can tell is that there's going to be trouble, the family's going to get back together, and it's more of the beginning that I know probably, most likely, what's going to go and happen, and yes, they do move into a new house, but that's kind of basically the whole gist of the, the beginning part. I don't really know exactly what's going to happen in the end, but I'll give it my best shot. Now, if I had to guess... Screen Slaver and Elastigirl get into a fight. So they get into a fight, they're fighting. And then Mr. Incredible comes. They work together, but they're fighting now, talk. Something happens. Elastigirl might get hypnotized and then try to fight Mr. Incredible, but that's where the kids come in. The kids come in. And then they all fight. They release the mom. And then they defeat Screen Slaver. That's what I have to guess. Don't know for sure. And then maybe, maybe. If this movie's good, Evelyn might come in and then unleash her own thing. I don't know what's gonna happen. That I don't know. It's it's probably it's my best guess. I don't know, but that's basically what to expect in The Incredibles. So I'll give a quick summary just just to recap everything that I say. So starts off with Rick Dicker. He's interviewing Tony Reidinger. He Tony Reidinger tells um, Rick Dicker exactly what happens. Rick Dicker erases his memory. Just like a uh, Kari from Jack Jack Attack. So he raises his memory, then it cuts to the fight. Frozone escapes, Par family is detained, right? Because they're superheroes, they're not allowed to be there. But since Frozone gets detail gets talked to by one of Winston Deaver's men, and then <laughs> man, one of Winston Deaver's got I don't even know. Whatever. He gets talked to and and then and then uh, Frozone top tells Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible about Winston Deaver. They go to Winston Deaver. They Elastigirl is the one that he wants, right? And so then, so then Elastigirl starts fighting crime. Um, uh, Mr. Incredible has to watch the kids, right? So then, that's the definite part. That's the part that we, everyone should know. Everyone, you know, needs to know. That's the part that's can right? We already know that's going to happen. Here's where it starts to get iffy. Screen Slaver, this is, this is the part where I'm like, eh, I don't know for sure, but here's what's going to happen. So, Screen Slaver starts hypnotizing people. Miss, Mr. Uh, Elastigirl has no idea who Screen Slaver is, if he's like related to, um, he's, he's like, you know, like anything. But my best guess would be that Screen Slaver is actually Winston. Shh. Spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. Anyway, so so then he starts recruiting. Winston Deaver also starts recruiting the um, other supers, like Void and Brick and Electro Man. I don't know what his name is. But so then they start recruiting him. Then him. Them. They start recruiting them. And so then they become hypnotized by Screen Slaver. And then... They go to attack, then Mr. Incredible says, this could get weird. 
get your suit or suit up or something like that in the trailer. Do you remember that? Yes. They said that. So, Mr. Incredible and Frozone are going to go help Mrs. Incredible defeat um, Screenslaver, right? And as I'm going, keep in mind, as I'm going down the timeline, I'm just kind of guessing. I'm kind of throwing stuff together, but it's my best guess. But I'm, this is a what to expect, not what's going to happen. This is like what you should get a basic feel of what's going to happen. So, Mrs. Incredible goes, or not Mrs. Incredible, Frozen and, uh, Frozen and Mr. Credible, they go to help Mrs. Incredible, right? So then, then the kids are left alone. They hear that the parents are in trouble, so they're like, we gotta go. So they go, right? So they go. Yes. They go. To help the parents, right? That's why they're driving the car, but along the way, they get, they, well, they try to go, but along the way, they get attacked by, uh, by the other supers in their house, in their own giant mansion house, right? So I'm sure they're I'm sure they're gonna escape. I'm sure the kids are gonna escape and make it to the parents. The parents are gonna see them. Elastigirl gets hypnotized, or Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible gets hypnotized and they, the kids have to defeat them. Again, I don't know. That would be pretty cool though. But so both of those this is just a guess at this point. That's gonna happen and then the kids go they unhypnotize mom and dad, and they all defeat Screen Slaver together. Until Evelyn Deaver comes out, and then they have to defeat her too. I don't know. If that's if that's how I was gonna write the Incredibles, that's how I would write it. It sounds pretty good to me, at least. I, I would watch my version of the Incredibles too. But I'm sure Brad Bird has a trick up his proverbial sleeve, because I don't know. I've heard it's better than the original, so I don't know. I'm kind of excited. What do you guys think? If you guys, uh, if you guys are excited, leave a leave a comment in the bottom and uh, you know, tell tell me what you think. If if you think, oh, that's that's not gonna happen. It's impossible. You're dumb. But if you think it is possible, then you're like, yes, yes. So if you liked it, like and please subscribe. I really need it. I I don't really need it, but I I, I want it. Please. <laughs> but but yeah, please. It really helps me out. It really. Boost my self-esteem, <laughs> but it also, it, it also, I don't know, it, it's just kind of, but, but thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, and um, yeah, uh, the Lego Movie 2 trailer came out, I'm going to have to do another video of that.